Jesus taught the adults and blessed the children. The church has gotten it backwards. That was not the case in the early days of the church. The section of Matthew's Gospel that we call the Sermon on the Mount was intended by Matthew as a sort of catechism for adults. What Jesus says about what has been taught in the past is uncomfortably clear. Those rules are not enough. His followers are allowed no anger, no abusive language, no lustful thoughts, no divorce, no oaths. It's hard to avoid the demands of these teachings. We try to water them down, claiming they apply only to certain people or are meant as ideals. It doesn't work. Jesus spoke them to the crowd, not to a specially chosen elite. My first reaction to what Jesus says is to decide that what he wants is impossible. There's no way I can meet his demands. So I ignore them. But is Jesus in fact calling upon me to do the impossible? Is the problem that he asks too much or is it that I'm unwilling to give what he asks? When I say I cannot, do I really mean I will not? I certainly cannot say I've tried to live as Christ has commanded and I know from experience that it's impossible. As G.K. Chesterton remarked, the Christian ideal has not been tried and found wanting. It's been found difficult and left untried. In fact, the life Jesus calls me to has been fully lived by another. Jesus did it. It was no easier for him than for me if what the church teaches about his being fully human is true. He spoke from experience when he told us to go beyond the normal rules. Those normal rules are the commandments of God as taught in the Old Testament. Jesus makes the claim that God's law does not go far enough, that it is inadequate. His willingness to overrule the law of God is a sign of the divine power and authority with which Jesus taught. And that power and authority is the guarantee that somehow or other, I can indeed live as he calls me to do. The reason that I can is my baptism. In baptism, I am united with the risen Lord, the one who has overcome death. Nothing then is truly impossible in living as he did. I can do it if I be willing to try. But how do I start? I do not have enough practice and experience to be able to easily start living according to Matthew's catechism. My fear, my weakness, and my laziness are too deeply ingrained. It will take a long time to overcome them, so I must not delay. Where do I start? Jesus talked about going beyond the usual, so perhaps the place to start is with the usual and then go beyond it. For instance, I often limit my life of faith to part of Sunday and other spare moments during the week. So perhaps the place to start is someday this week. Can I take time this week to live a weekday faith? For one day trying to go beyond what I consider normal? Doing so will require attention and courage. I will have to be alert to all the opportunities to live as a child of God. I will have to beware of my tendency to take the easy way. More than anything, trying to live what Matthew presents will require prayer. I must beg the Lord for his strength so that I may overcome the habits of a lifetime that keep me afraid or unwilling to live as he calls me to do. It may seem as impossible as I always thought, but it will not be impossible. The Lord does not tell us to go out and do the impossible. He does, however, command that we do nothing less than all that is possible. That is adult faith. 
a faith that does not rely upon custom and rules, but goes beyond them to a relationship with God that requires all. All my thoughts, all my talents, all my time, all my attention, all my acts. <laughs>